Hey guys, Irius here and welcome along to another video, my final video of 2021 where we're going to review the year that we've just had and we're going to look ahead to 2022. Now, I'm not great at these things, this isn't my usual thing, I'm a sim racer after all, but it's something that everybody on YouTube seems to do and it might actually be nice to look back on in the future, so here we go. And in the background, as you're going to see, I am rolling on the footage from my not so glorious time at Goodwood from the final race I did on Grand Turismo Sport, so you don't fall asleep. And I'm not just talking with a blank screen in the background. So here we go. This is what things are going to look like for this video. The first thing we're going to do is revisit all the things we did in 2021. We're then going to look ahead to 2022. And then at the end, I've got a couple of thank yous. So I want to make sure I get those in. So let's revisit all the things we did in 2021 first. And I've split this up between YouTube life and off track or personal life, really. So in terms of YouTube life, the content, it was mainly Gran Turismo Sport, of course. Lots of live streams, both dailies and FIAs I started doing as well. And there were a lot of videos, both scripted and VOD styles. More VOD style towards the end of the year. We also did some iRacing. We did the special events, but not all of them, sadly. We did live streams and dabbled in some videos. And we actually even did some ACC on occasion. So quite a good variety, I think, of sim racing stuff came to the channel in 2021. Now, those came with some milestones, so let's have a quick go through those. So we obviously broke through 30,000 subscribers. We've actually got 32,185 subscribers as I read this, which is absolutely incredible. We did 154 combined videos and live streams, which equates to one every 2.37 days, if my maths that usually does fail me doesn't fail me on this occasion and probably our best performance on the live stream was we had over 700 people watching our Team Rock Nürburgring 24 hour finish so loads and loads of content and loads and loads of milestones reached in 2021 and just generally from my YouTube life and on track life I generally just feel I'm a better driver towards the end of the year I was having fights with Zabasic I was regularly in the race with Key and also people like Fraga on Gran Turismo Sport and also I felt I had flashes of, I don't want to say dominance, but you know, performances that I wanted to achieve on iRacing, especially probably a standout was the iRacing uh, Suzuka 10 hour, obviously iRacing, but yeah, the Suzuka 10 hour where I really, really felt I was performing to where I wanted to so an okay an okay time really YouTube wise in 2021 um, 2021 off track wasn't so good for me personally I don't think um, it was another challenging year full of ups and downs uh, we collectively entered year two of the pandemic so me being me I'm a constant warrior so I was worrying about family and health and all that sort of thing all the time I was working at home for the majority, so I was climbing the walls after a very short amount of time. And if I look to my right here, my sim rig's there. So there was literally no end of thinking about YouTube, doing YouTube. There was no real escape, so I really, really struggled with that. Um, Freddie, my eldest son, turned one in March. Max then arrived in July. So my world just turned upside down. Um, Max got his harness in October, so he was, well, most of you already know because of Aaron's channel, but for those that don't, he was diagnosed with developmental hip dysplasia, and he was in a pelvic harness in October at 10 weeks old. So that was a huge amount of stress for me and Erin on top of everything else that was going on in the world. But thankfully, Max came out of that harness in December and we could finally get a bit of normality back at the start of this month. But probably the underlying tone of 2021 is that I didn't really look after myself enough. Um, I think that was to my detriment as well. I tried to put everybody first, uh, but in turn, 
I just wasn't the best version of me really so it's kind of counter productive there um, and also if I'm being honest I was hanging on with this YouTube thing for a long long time I was trying to actively recover from what I now identify as burnout for the majority of the year hence probably where the VOD stuff came from is that I was just burnt out and it was either take a break or keep going and I just ploughed through it to be honest which I'm not sure if that was the best thing to do but warts and all as I always say on track and off track and as I go off in the background there and yeah that's how I felt my 2021 went full of ups and downs is how I classify it but that is pretty much behind us now depending on when you're watching this um, so I want to move on to what's coming in 2022 on the channel and learning from 2021 and my years previous I'm just going to keep this thing simple uh, it's a big year for the channel a uh, big year for me we've got Gran Turismo Sport until March so we've only got a few months left of this thing um, and I want to pay it the respect it deserves because whilst it's got its flaws and it's got lots of them I love this game uh, and it's pretty much changed my life and has been my life for the last three to four years so I want to pay the respects to it that it deserves and I want to keep pushing until you know the walls fall off or the doors fall off or the wheels fall off or whatever the whatever the phrase is so we've got this till March and then Gran Turismo 7 arrives which is obviously going to be what the content will be for the foreseeable once it arrives I'm really really excited about that um, it's just gonna be amazing not to just see what content I can create but all the content creators that I've been watching whilst doing Gran Turismo Sport we've all had to do pretty much the same thing you know we'd all do the Monday night races we'd all do the FIAs but Gran Turismo 7 seems to be such or it looks like it's going to be such an expanse and expansion of what Gran Turismo Sport is so I'm really really excited because I'm a fan first of all of Gran Turismo uh, so I'm really really excited to see what path people take and also what new and up and coming content creators are going to arrive so new game new creators so really really excited for that going to be really really interesting and also of course I've diarised and I've got a full year this year of iRacing special events up there with some of the most fun stuff that I can do in sim racing to be quite honest um, teaming up with others is not something we can do in Gran Turismo but iRacing for me with that team stuff is just the most enjoyable thing that I can do in sim racing so that will be coming uh, the majority of which will be with Team Rock which I know some of you or well, the majority of you will be very happy to hear because you know hanging out with those guys and doing those races are great great fun and we really enjoy bringing you guys along uh, for those events so yeah Gran Turismo till March Gran Turismo 7 from then onwards and then a full year of iRacing special events and then really the last thing is just to continue to be me uh, I'm going to show you warts and all as I always do as you can see by the background here I think I've mentioned it a couple of times as well on my sim racing journey it's trying to be just trying to be as realistic as possible because nobody's perfect I'm certainly not perfect on and off the track so I think it's important to share that I've got no arbitrary targets around video views live stream viewer numbers or number of subscribers I think it just adds an added pressure so all I'm going to commit to is going to try and make the best content I can and I need to remember to enjoy the ride and remember how far that I've come and that we've come so those are the main targets for me in 2022 of course the most important thing out of all of this is just try to be the best husband the best father and generally best person I can be because in 2021 I don't think I was so I'm not great on resolutions but if I did have a resolution that would be the main one and sorry it's pretty stop start this and there's lots of ums and ahs in it and probably lots of mistakes but I'm doing this in one go I just wanted to speak from the heart really I've made a couple of notes to make sure I cover everything and say that everything that I want to say but 
I just wanted to speak from the heart so apologies if this is a bit unpolished but these things I think are important to just get out really so finally I just want to give some thank yous and mainly it's to my wife and family not that they'll see this but for putting up with me when I haven't been the best me this year I also want to say thank you to Fanatec to Rain Gaming and Simlab for continuing to see something in me um, and allowing me to represent their brands and lastly and most importantly all of you guys out there who have viewed liked subscribed become channel members donated everything i just want to say thank you so much because without you none of this would really be possible um so i'm going to wrap it up here and in closing i just want to take a bit of time to wish you all a very very happy new year thank you again for everything in 2021 i'll see you in a few days for the next one but here's to 2022